It seemed like you got what you wanted in the end there. They missed a the free throw. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you had something set up there. We did. You know, layup. I was saying, in that situation, what more that can you ask for than your best player going to the basket downhill, gets a good look at it. You know, sometimes they fall, sometimes they don't. You know, um, I can't ask for much more than that. You know, in the end of the game, uh, I think we went cold at the end. You know, we had a four-point lead with two and a half minutes to go, mm -hmm. and uh, we couldn't get anything to fall. And then uh, the kid Ludwig started heating up for them real quick. You know, he banged seven quick ones. And um, I thought we did a much better job when we switched to zone from man to man because they were hitting shots all over the place. Yeah. Um, but, but it's exactly what I said before the game. You know, when people ask, oh, how's Woburn? I said, a ton of kids that can shoot, you know. Not an easy team to guard when five guys on the floor can shoot, especially when, you know, you love to play with Jack and Duncan who are bigger, and it's hard for them to get out there and cover those guards. Yeah, it's kind of um, crazy. They don't look like much when you look at them. No, 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 no. You know, but if you do your homework and you do your scouting, you see, I mean, look at their, look at their schedule. You know, they have no bad losses. They beat some really good teams. They uh, they played some really good teams close, you know, so I, I think they're going to uh, be a handful for whoever they play going forward. Doe was expect, uh, especially explosive from the from the top of the key okay. going in. He, he, he was fearless. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. I mean, we knew that. That was in the scouting report. He had to stop his dribble penetration, try to keep him on the perimeter. But easier said than done. You know, the kid's a little rock, you know, yeah. and uh, he's very strong. And when he can get into the paint and kick, you know, you're going to have a tough night, you know, but it, it's not easy to guard those guys, and that's why they've been successful all year. I was just going to say, was that the type of pace in the matchup that you expected for this kind of game? Yeah, season? if anything, I'd say they actually did a good job slowing us down. We would have liked to pick up the pace, you know, because just because we're trying to, you know, hold them back. Even if we play zone, we still want to push the ball and transition on offense. You know, we want to slow them down, but we still want to pick up the pace. You know, um, we've, we've scored in the, you know, mid-70s all season long. Um, and they, they just they hit a lot of shots tonight. Did 12 surprise you, his, the, his point production? Because early on, it didn't seem like he was going to be much of a, a scoring threat, and all of a sudden, a couple of threes. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't. It doesn't surprise me, actually, because that was also, you know, like I said, we had them scouted pretty well. We knew he could shoot the basketball. As a matter of fact, even though he's the biggest guy on the team, he loves to pick and pop. Very rarely do you see him pick and roll. Um, that was in the scouting report, and I thought we did a really good job on him. But at the same time, when you're trying to stop Doe, and then you're trying to stop Lugwood, who's on fire, and then you got two the two twins who are shooters in the corner. It's like somebody's going to get a shot sooner or later, unless you're playing perfect every possession, you know. And if you, you don't play perfect every possession, you know somebody's going to get an open shot, and they hit a lot of tough ones. What were the changes at halftime that allowed you to you know go on a little run and retake the lead? There, you said you went to the zone, and that kind of helped. Yeah, we went to the zone, which slowed them down a little bit. But I also think for us, it just got back into transition because all our baskets, you know, again we're in transition, yeah. very similar to Ball the Catholic. That's when we're at our best. You know, and then even when we got stuck playing against their zone or their half court man, I thought we did a really good job running our sets. We got a ton of good looks. We missed a lot of layups. We left some free throws out there. And when you lose by two, that's what's going to get you. Yeah. Reflecting on the season, I mean, you only got a couple seniors, but they're pretty important to this team. Oh, absolutely, and absolutely. Matt really showed up tonight, battling through the throwing. Right. Dude, obviously, that we did. I couldn't ask. I couldn't ask for anything more for my seniors, and not just the two, Matt and Luigi, who yeah. start, you know, our captain start and play the whole game. But the other three that sit on the bench don't play a lot. Thank you. You know, that um, they don't play a lot. They came to work every single day, never complained, practiced as hard as anybody, and that's what makes a good team, you know, because they helped us in practice a ton. And I told these guys, nobody expected this season from Beverly. Beverly has not been looked at or viewed as a basketball city anymore. And that's what we wanted to try to change when I came here. And I told these kids that they're going to be a very special group because they're going to be the first group along with this coaching staff. You know, it's not easy for those guys getting new coaches in there. They did everything we asked. And I think in one short season, 22 games, they're already changing the view of people's perception on Beverly basketball. I mean, just look at the last two games. There are people in the stands that know nothing about basketball that just wanted to come check out Beverly basketball because they're reading about how well they're doing, which is awesome. They had to put in a whole new section of bleachers just to fill, you know, for the kids, which is great. And um, I'll never forget this group of kids because this group is, you know, these 12 guys are the ones that are changing the culture of the basketball in one short season. You know, it's not the coaches. You know, I had zero rebounds. My assistant coach didn't hit any shots. You know, it's the co it's the kids that are out there. You know, they work their butts off for me all year.